So, I haven't done this forever. I mean, it's been out for a while, and I haven't done anything with it because I always thought I had to go all the way to New Orleans because I'm like, surely a TSA pre-check is like a really big deal. A TSA pre-check is very much government, you know? They're going to probe you and ask for your fingerprints and all kinds of stuff and so a TSA pre-check is not something little old home of Louisiana can do so I just been putting it off and putting it off putting it off well early next year I got a bunch of flights through major airports and I'm and it's by myself by the way Tammy's not coming with me on all these different events I'm going on because it's a quick and bam quick out um, anyway short story long I start doing checking and I decide I'm gonna finally get this silly TSA pre-check so that I can just zip through. I don't have to take my shoes off. I don't have to check my laptop. You know, typically when I do these fast in and outs, everything is with me. Um, I, I don't have, I don't have, you know, extra luggage. It's like everything is already just, I just fly with what I need. It's just, so thus, for that reason, I need the quick in, quick out. I need I can't stand going through all that take your shoes off thing it just aggravates me to no end so 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 yesterday I go I do the whole TSA you know I google TSA pre-check I fill out the application and I'm like I got time tomorrow I'm gonna go handle this you know I can I know I'm gonna have to drive all the way to New Orleans and all this other stuff so I it says, where would you like to, to, to do your um, final inspection, you know? And so I thought, I was just about to just type in New Orleans because I thought for sure that's just going to be my closest one. But instead, I put in the zip code, you know, that, that had that option. So I just put in my zip code. Click. Do you know there's a place that does this TSA pre-check that is literally walking distance from the studio I am not kidding walking distance from the studio and that's in home of Louisiana so all this time I've been putting off because I gotta go all the way to silly New Orleans and come to find out I do not have to go all the way to silly New Orleans that come to find out right here in home of Louisiana so what's the moral of this story if you do a lot of flying okay and you are like me and you can't stand all this TSA pre-check business I mean all this you know take your shoes off and stuff why not get a TSA pre-check it's a whopping $85 it lasts five years five years right and you go and you ain't gotta do nothing it's nothing they literally fingerprint you they confirm who you are with a birth certificate and a driver's license it's all stuff you already have I kind of joked with the lady. I thought, eh, I'll make a little joke. I said, I guess this ruins my uh, my my future plans as a criminal. And she killed herself laughing. She was like, blah. Anyway, that's the kind of jokes you don't make as you're going through TSA. But apparently, these are the kind of jokes you can make uh, when you are uh, uh, getting your TSA pre-check. So that's just a, for what it's worth. Uh, joke at your own risk. Talk to y'all tomorrow. Bye.